I'm Steve from Propeller Warehouse on the Sunshine Coast. So today we're going to talk about um, 2530 horsepower group and this is the second part of a seven part series of different engine groupings and all about propellers for those groupings. So I'd like to start with what's available, um, especially in our new high strength times five aluminium, which is really an aviation um, grade of, of, of material and is generally speaking five times stronger than normal aluminium. These are by brand called Pandora and full range of stainless steel. So to jump straight into it, um, we can offer pretty much everything in different size pitches for heavy boats or commercial boats or pontoon boats all the way through to racing type sizes. In the 2530 horsepower group, which is an incredibly popular size in Australia, um, courtesy of the number of Quintrexes and, and all brands of, 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 of small fiberglass and aluminium boats, um, the, the range goes from basically seven pitch through to 13 to 14 pitch. 11s and 12s, and that's all we can talk is just pitch. 11s and 12s are very, very popular. So in the Yamaha side, the sizes pretty much go nine and seven eighths by 10 and a half. Now that is actually in Yamaha a, a dedicated OEM type size. We are making our own um, larger blade area props, which are generally around 10 inch diameter. So a little bit more blade area, but again, in all those so sizes and pitches. Into Mercury, there is a number of different options. Mercury has been around a long, long time. Just remember that uh, Mercury USA do not use a split pin on the holding the prop nut on. If you have a Mercury with a split pin holding the nut on, it's actually a Tahatsu. So there's a USA and then there's um, really a, uh, a Tahatsu, a Mercury uh, branded uh, Tahatsu. So it's important to know that. So when you're ringing up for a propeller, just make a note of that first. Um, the 25s, the most popular in the USA uh, sizes are 9.9 .9 by 12 and 13. 13 is incredibly popular. Um, why? Mm, that's a good question in as much as I believe the Mercury USA is probably a little bit bigger displacement than the Tatsus. Um, they still rev to about where they're supposed to rev, uh, 57 to 6,000 revs. Um, the Tahatsus maybe have a little bit more compression because um, a lot of people complain about uh, the pull start on uh, 25 towies, but Mercury and towie, very, very similar. Um, and all of that range is available, even in high, high uh, thrust applications. So Tahatsus on uh, sailing catamarans and um, or even little uh, little uh, day boats, 20 McGregor 26s and things of that nature, anything with an auxiliary, we do have four by 10 by seven high thrust props for those applications. In the next grouping, which would have to be uh, Suzuki, I believe, um, we have uh, a lot of different pitches from 9 through to 15. Now I don't sell that many 15 pitch, but they do make them and Suzuki 2530s, generally speaking, are a very ballsy motor. Um, maybe it's one of the reasons why they don't use them in some applications like surf, surf life saving because it's an unfair advantage, Yamaha and Tatsu. Um, control the market in that grouping. Um, the 2530 in surf, surf life saving, uh, we have dedicated uh, uh, props for rescue and for surf work that have extra cupping because obviously there's a lot of air in the water in the surf for surf uh, rescues. And um, these are generally around 10 inch pitch so we do custom make a lot of these types of props. 
with the support and help of a number of Tatsu dealers who are specialists in this area. Um, so there's a quite a big range. Again, stainless steel used a lot in Queensland, shallow water, sand, uh, whereas you find in um, different areas, further south you go, deeper water, um, you know, aluminium is used a little bit more. And of course, there's always this, this, uh, this question about should I be using stainless steel in remote areas um, up in wherever, the Badlands, you might as well call it, in uh, the Northern Territory, the Roper River, um, you know, Gove, all up through uh, Weeper, all those areas. The thing is that aluminium is a lot more forgiving on a gearbox. There's no doubt about it. It's the weight difference. So remember that propellers are designed to go forward. They're not really designed to go rever uh, to reverse unless it was a high thrust, which has got flat blades. So they're designed to go forward. So when you go forward and you hit something, there's a few things in play. One, there's a rubber hub in there, which will take out a lot of that shock. Two, the boat momentum, as you're moving forward, helps to walk over things and, and get away from what, whatever you're hitting. And the third thing is the engine will tilt out. So that's another little bit of an advantage. Plus the biggest thing is that the gears in the gearbox, the gears in the gear case are helically cut for forward, not for reverse. You imagine hitting something in reverse. There's no give, there's no forgiveness. Then add the extra weight of a stainless steel propeller in reverse. There you have like, you know, the perfect storm, the perfect break. So there's a little bit of a, um, uh, an insight as to why you might choose an aluminium over a stainless, especially a high strength aluminium, because they'll take a lot more wear. They weld up a lot nicer, a lot easier to weld. Um, and um, uh, that gives you a bit of a bit of a, an idea on that, that range there. So I've covered Yamaha, I've covered Mercury and Tatsu because they're kind of together. Uh, Suzuki, you can still buy the RMCs in the 25s, uh, the old Johnson 25s. In fact, you can still also buy the old workhorse, the old non-through hub exhaust Johnson 25 horsepower propeller. Um, I think they're roughly around the $160 mark. Um, so the popular size, generally speaking, for 2530s is 13 pitch. Um, 10 and 1 8 by 13. If it's a quite a light boat, you'd go a 14. If it's a lot heavier and your mate has got too much beer in the boat and he's overweight, well, maybe you'd go to an 11. So that's a bit of a guide for, um, for the pitch variances. Um, just remember, if your boat has got plenty of horsepower and if you know that it's, it's got a uh, good power to weight ratio, you can step up a little bit in pitch without hurting that, that prop uh, or that motor uh, for that point of view. So that concludes part two. The next part will be 40, 50, 60 horsepower. So make sure you tune in for that.